Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I'm here today with a video that I have been working on for way longer than I care to admit. And maybe the ironic thing about that is that this video is like 20 minutes of me just talking about similar polishes that kind of all look the same, but I feel like it needed to be done. So without further ado, the video I am presenting to you today is all about silver holographic nail polishes. And if anyone is like laughing at this shirt that I'm wearing, I didn't buy this shirt to wear in this video, but I did buy it because it's holographic and is making me live out some sort of like 2001 space odyssey fantasy. But I had it in my closet and I was like, this is probably the perfect and only time I will ever actually wear this, so why not? So a little bit of a backstory on this video and just silver holographic nail polishes in general. So I think one of the ones you will see, which is shockingly still available, which is the Color Club Harp on it. That polish I've had in my collection since either 2012 or 2013. It was probably the first holographic nail polish that I ever used and it was like mind blowing at the time. And of course, now every single brand pretty much has their own version of a linear silver holographic nail polish. So they're a dime a dozen, but not all silver hollows are created equally. So I wanted to sort of put them all together, do a comparison, just show off the ones that I have in my collection, and also see what everyone thinks about silver hollows and what their favorite silver hollow is. I will also note that I'm pretty sure, so I have eight polishes and I think, I think five of them are currently available. Maybe three of them are not available. So in the description below, I will mention all the names of the polishes and whether or not I think they're still available. So you can check them out if you want to or not. And if they're not available, you can try to find them on the nail polish black market, I guess. I feel like I've got a whole bunch of like caveats before I actually get into the video, but the other thing I wanted to say is that this is by no means a comprehensive um, silver holographic comparison video. These are just the ones that I have in my collection. Most of them are silver linear hollows, but a few of them are also not at all. So I just kind of found anything that was silver and holographic without any other things added to it, like no shimmers of other colors or anything and I just threw them all in this video. So hopefully you find it entertaining. Hopefully you're ready to see a lot of silver and rainbows and hollow. And um, I think that's it. So let's just get into it. So I thought I would start off with the Hollow Taco Silver Linear Hollow that released in 2021. It's called Circuit Breaker. And this one is described just as a silver linear holographic, which is basically how all the polishes I'm showing you today are going to be described. But in terms of the formula and the finish, this one builds up really nicely. It has a good opacity, but it's still sheer enough that the pigment really shows through. So I have to give credit where credit is due and Hollow Taco did an incredible job with this polish. And I feel like, spoiler, it's going to kind of be the standard against which all of the other silver linear hollows are judged in this video. So I will make a note about the top coat I'm using and top coats in general. I will name the two that I'm using down in the description below, but you need to make sure when you're buying a, a top coat that when you're using it with hollows, it says in the description that it won't dull hollows because there are top coats that will dull holographic pigments. So the ones I'm using are safe, and here you can see Circuit Breaker is incredible. It is so rainbowy, so strong and beautiful. And the second one is Color Club Harp on it, which I talked about in the intro. It's kind of like the OG silver linear hollow, and I think maybe there was like the Chanel holographic nail polish that came out before this, but this was the first one that was accessible to the masses and easy to use so it's still available however many years later and this one has a really thin formula i don't know if it's just because my bottle has gotten old but usually nail polishes thicken over time anyway it's very thin 
in comparison to the hollow taco, I would say I would say this one is a little more metallic-y and silvery, and the linear effect is less strong. While it is very holographic, it's not as like the rainbows don't show up in lines as nicely as the hollow taco does. Um so this one, I applied it in two coats. So even though it was thin, it still built up really well in two coats. And what else was I going to say about this one? Oh, I think I was just going to say that, yeah, when you're not in the sun, this one looks very metallic -y and silvery on your nails, which personally I don't like. So, you know, that's just my opinion. But I will also mention that if you're into stamping nail polish, when this one actually works really well, for stamping. So thumbs up if you stamp, but you can see how holographic it is. It's very hollow. And here we have Cirque Colors Subculture, and this one is also described as a silver linear hollow. And they say on their website that this is made with 100% pure holographic pigments. So I don't know if there's like impure holographic pigments out there or what, I'm just being silly. But um, this one is on the sheer side, but it's still built up in two coats. This one, I think there must be a little bit of some sort of scattered hollow in it because it doesn't come off as like pure linear holographic on the nail, in my opinion. And I don't know. It's just not as strong as the previous two, um, but it's still obviously very holographic. But um, as you can see, the lines are not as strong. It's almost like they're refracted a bit. I don't know. I wish I knew more about science and light so I could give a really thorough overview of these nail polishes. But here you can see what I mean. I mean, it's definitely holographic. It's definitely linear, but it's just not giving me the same level of rainbow as the past two. It's still very beautiful, as you can see, but, you know, I'm just being very critical today. And here we have Live Love Polish, which is no longer available. The brand doesn't even exist anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's now Mooncat Lacquer. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this one is, what would I say this one is? This one is maybe the closest to white, even though it's still silver for sure. It's so sheer, as you can see, and it gives it a super, super, super ethereal effect. It's a very beautiful polish in my opinion. I really love this one. I love the way it comes off in terms of the rainbows. They're super strong. It's very linear and um, I don't know. It's kind of worth it even though I put on four coats. I think it's worth it in my opinion. You might even be able to use it as a top coat and if you are able to find this in a D-stash, I highly recommend it because I think it is very holographic. The effect is very strong and super rainbowy, which is really what I want to see when I'm wearing a silver holographic polish. I want to see those rainbows like flying off my nails. And as you can see here, it definitely gives like a very, I already said it, it's very ethereal. It's very delicate, but also strong at the same time. So thumbs up to this one and RIP that it no longer exists. Here we have Starly Magic Rainbow. I love the name of this one. It just makes me happy. Um, this one is described as an intensely holographic nail polish packed with the best quality holographic pigment. So that is from the Starly website. This one is still available. Um, and it definitely is very rainbowy. Um, they say it gives an ultra bright rainbow effect and I would agree. I think this has... I don't know. I feel like it could have a little bit of scattered hollow in addition to the linear hollow because the rainbow effect is very strong and it's not totally coming off in those straight lines. So I think this is kind of a close second to the hollow taco. Um, this one is also very silvery and metallic looking when you're not in the sun, which I don't super love, but it's kind of worth it when the sun comes out or you're under direct light. And you get the rainbow because it's all about the rainbow. And this rainbow is very magical, as you can see. When I move my fingertips, you definitely get the rainbowy effect. And here with my photos, you can see how rainbowy it truly is. 
here we have something a little bit different. So this one is from Great Lakes Lacquer. It's called UP Stargazing. And this is described as an old school glowing holographic with hollow micro flakes of the same material. So this is linear plus has some hollow flakes in it. And this is what apparently the Chanel holographic nail polish is made of. It's that same kind of pigment, which in all honesty is not super rainbowy compared to the other ones, but I find it to be very beautiful. So this one has the linear hollow, plus it has the hollow flakes, which are made of this old school pigment. Um, yeah, as you can see here, because it has those flakes in it, it kind of breaks up the rainbow effect, but you can still see it and it's quite interesting. And I love how this looks when you're not in the sun. I think it still looks really pretty, which is kind of I want my nail polish to look good in all lighting situations, so I appreciate that about this one. And here you can see, it's definitely got the rainbows, but definitely on the scattered side. And here we have Selenas Diana, which I think is named after Princess Diana, who I just have this affinity towards because someone once told me I looked like her, and people used to tell my mom that she looked like her, so I don't know. Anyway. That's, a, that's quite a compliment. Anyway, um, this nail polish has a scattered holographic effect. I would say it appears to be made of like tiny holographic flakes, which are very, you know, densely packed in there and very holographic. So this one is also super pretty when it's not in direct light. And it gives what I would call a static hollow effect, which I think comes when you use mostly flakes. It just reminds me of like static that you'd see on an old school television, like rainbowy, and when it's blurred out, which I'm going to show you shortly, it's just super beautiful. So this one built up really well in two coats, and this is one that I think is no longer available. Um, I purchased it, I think I purchased it directly from the Selenast website, which ships from Russia, but as you can see there, that's like the static that I'm talking about. So if you can't find this, I would recommend Cirque Colors Crushed Ice as like, I think it's a close dupe. I don't have crushed ice, but I looked at pictures for a long time on the internet and have decided that they're similar in their composition. And last but not least, we've made it to the end. Oh my God, your eyes are probably like bugging from all the rainbows. This one is I Love Nail Polish ILNP Mega X, and it's described as being composed of an array of oversized holographic pigments for maximum holographic sparkle to the 10th power. So this one is also staticky because it is using, you know, different sized flakes. I don't think any of these are actually glitter, but it's definitely not um, got that linear effect. It's very much scattered and um, in a clear base. So as you can see here, I needed three coats to build it up to a pretty good coverage and it didn't totally cover, but the sheerness allows for all those pigments to really shine through. So I understand the vision. I understand the science behind it, but you could probably use this as a topper if you wanted. And here again is that staticky effect that I was talking about. So many rainbows, super beautiful. If you couldn't already tell, I'm definitely more in the scattered static hollow camp than the pure linear camp, just because I think it's prettier and it looks better in all lighting situations. And here I wanted to show you all of the polishes that I just talked about side by side so you can see them as a comparison. Um, as you can see, like the Hollow Taco Circuit Breaker really, to me, is giving off like the most rainbowy effect in the most straight lines. And I think the Color Club achieves that as well, but it's a little more, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a tiny bit more scattered looking, I think. Cirque Colors less rainbowy but still got that linear effect live love polish we talked about how it's more of like a pale silver slash whitish base starly is definitely giving me the linear plus a bit of scattered as you can sort of see it's kind of got that like staticiness to it great lakes lacquer is kind of in a category unto itself which 
is super cool. And the Selenast polish and ILNP are more entirely scattered. Kind of my favorite type of silver hollow. And I don't know, just super beautiful and rainbowy. So take a screenshot if you need to refer to this in the future at any point, but hopefully you're able to get a sense of how they compare seeing them here together. And I wanted to also show them side by side here just on swatch sticks because I don't know, this is like just them with the exact same lighting at the exact same time try to like try to control the conditions as much as possible for my science experiment. So this is from left to right the order in which I showed them so starting with the hollow taco which clearly here you can see how linear it is and the live love polish is also super linear and then you can see how scattered the ILNP is on the end. So when it comes to silver hollows especially silver linear hollows I'm going to have to give it to Hollow Taco because that is the most linear, the most intensely rainbowy of the bunch. And I just think it has a great formula. It's really beautiful and I super duper love it. But in terms of the actual hollow, silver holographic genre as a whole, I really like scattered hollow. So I really, really, really love the Selenast polish. I know that's one of the ones that's like discontinued slash maybe it's coming back. I'm not entirely sure, but I super duper love that one. And as I mentioned in the video, you can probably check out Sir Colors Crushed Ice for like a close dupe. Um, I don't have that one, but just looking at pictures for a long time, I'm thinking they're very, very close. And I also super love the Great Lakes Lacquer because it's just super pretty. I like how it looks when you're not in direct sun. It might not be the most rainbowy, but overall as a polish, I like it the most like all the time. So let me know in the comments what your favorite silver hollow is. Let me know if there are any you think I should absolutely check out. Let me know if you think there's any that might beat Hollow Taco. And yeah, hopefully you have a great day wherever you are. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye!